Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to do the factory reset of your DTEC 3910 router. If you are following my previous lab, you can able to understand what's the IP address I configured for my DTEC router. So in previous lab, I have configured 192.168.50.1, which I configured in my DTEC router. So now let's go and check whether I can able to reach that IP or not. So just open the terminal and type the IP address as 192.168.50.1. I have a successful reachability. Then open the browser and type the IP address is 50.1 and enter the username and password. Then after that, click login. Then once you log in, before you are going to do the reset, you can able to do it in two ways. The first one is hard reset and second one is the soft reset. So in case if you forget the password, then you can take the paper clip and do the hard reset. You just hold for 10 to 15 seconds, then automatically router is going to reboot and it's going to erase all the configurations. Then it will come back as a brand new. So now I want to show it to you how to do the soft reset. So before you are going to do the soft reset, make sure that take the backup first. To take the backup, go to the system maintenance. Then after that, if you see here, there is a configuration backup. So just click on that and take the backup first. But anyway, I have done the backup in my previous video. In case if you want to do it, just do it again. Just click on the backup. Yes, the backup has successfully done. Then after that, you just go to the reboot system. So here you can able to see if you want to reboot with the current configuration, you just select it and click on reboot. But I want to reboot with using factory default configuration. So select on this, then click reboot now. Then after that, your router is going to reboot with the default means it's like a factory default. It's like a brand new guys. So now what I'm going to do now, I can able to ping 1.1. Let's wait and see what's going on now. So right now I have connected my PC directly on port number four and I just selected as a factory reset. And let's go and see how much time is going to take under I can able to ping the default IP, which is the 192.168.1.1. Because it's going to arrange all the configurations, then after that it will come with the default IP. So make sure that I can able to ping or not. Why? Because by default, the DHCP is running for the LAN for which is 192.168.1 network. So once you do the factory reset, now you see here, once you do the factory reset, then it will be go back to the default settings, which is 192.168.1. So I'm just waiting the router has to come back now. So I'm trying to see whether it's going to come successfully or not. Just wait for a few seconds more. Just I want to check whether what IP address this guy has received. So far it doesn't get any IP address. Let's disconnect the cable and connect it back again. Just do that. I have done it. There you go. I got the reply now. So now what I'm going to do now to access my direct router, I'm going to type 192.168.1.1. And I can able to see the default username is admin and default password is admin. Then click on login. That's it. Now you can able to see the brand new router. Again, it's going to ask you the message since it doesn't change any password. So this is what how you are going to do the factory reset. That is, you can say it as a soft reset. But if you want to do a hard reset, if you see here, there is a reset button over there. Just hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. Then automatically it's going to be reset. Make sure that before you are going to do the reset, take the backup first.
that's very important concept guys otherwise you are going to lose all the configurations thank you for watching for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com